Dude, 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 dude. Scott McTominay, hey, honestly, I feel a bit bad singing it. Oh, jeez, what are you doing to me, United? What are you doing to yourself? Seriously, 34 shots. <laughs> we had to wait until the 95th minute for Scott McTominay to come off the bench. Wonderful footwork from Jaden Sancho. Big up to Sancho there. Mm -mm. Speaking about that later on. But this man steps up when we needed him the most. We are still in with the chance of finishing first in this Europa League group. But that was a game where we were pulling our hair out. Two games against Omonia. Two games where their goalkeeper was man of the match in both of them. My God. Just take a look at the stats for this game. Just take a look at the stats for this game. 34 shots from United. 13 on target. 78 possession. Present possession, sorry. They had one shot on target. Our finishing in that game was absolutely garbage. Look, right? I'm going to give the keeper all the credit in the world. Fantastic Man United fan. He had a cracking night. I'm sure he did. Yeah, F X, Y, and Z. But come the fuck on. The finishing in that game. Rashford must have had like five, six, seven, eight chances himself. Find the corners. Anthony, Rashford, Bruno. Ronaldo, all of them, find the corners with your shots. Is it that difficult to do? I did this as a joke during the game on so on Twitter, but I swear to God, this is probably what's going to be happening at Carrington tomorrow. Everyone's going to get a slap upside the head from Benny McCarthy, our, our attacking coach who's been signed. Seriously, 30, last three games, right? We've won all three. How can I come on here and start ranting and raving? It's not a rant. Is it a rant? I don't think it's a rant. It's just that... What are you doing to us, United? We were 30 seconds away from that being an absolute calamity. Brilliant. We came up with the goods at the end. Eric Ten Hag, his substitutions changed the game. Jaden Sancho with the wonderful piece of footwork, the awareness to cut back inside and pa pass across the box. Scott McTominay, <laughs> considering the shot he had about 30 seconds earlier. Fair play, Scott. Well done. Came clutch when we needed somebody to come clutch because, look, we had the run of the game. Omanir came with a with a with a goal and an objective of coming away with a clean sheet and getting the draw. And they defended very, very well. Bruno, their Bruno, man, he was dangerous. And we were lucky that he was greedy in the first half. Because he had, if he had looked up and seen that square ball, they would have definitely scored. Something I absolutely have to say here. This is genuinely disgraceful. Like I we, we can I can complain and we can complain about VAR and, and the decisions that happen when it comes to goals and not goals and offsides and this and that. But fucking Jeet, the dudes jumped both feet off the ground. One foot it's like a textbook red card. And it went to VAR and it the looks went, nah, nah, that's not a red. <laughs> In every single sense of the word, that is a red card. Like genuinely, what is the point in VAR? A bit like, what is the point of Man United's finishing coach at the moment? How and why it took until the 95th minute to wait for Scott Batomino to put that in. It's dismal. The last three games, Omanir away, Everton away, and Omanir at home, are three games where Manchester United have controlled large, large portions of the game. The majority of every single game. And three games where we've ended up with squeaky bum time. Man, we shouldn't have been squeaky bum time. It should have been squeaky clean bum time. Just sat there, tsh, opening a beer, sat on the lazy boy, just enjoying the rest of the game. Whilst the lot, because that's what it should have been. Should have been easy riding in that game there. From the first minute, I think we had a chance. Rashford forcing a great save from their goalkeeper, who did have an absolute stormer. I'm not going to take away from him, but if our finishing was better, he he wouldn't have been needed. They would have just flown into the corners. The chance creation is not the issue, man. It wasn't in the last game. It wasn't in the game before. It wasn't in this game. 34 shots. And we had, it must have been like between five and 10, like clear cut chances. We're not just talking like sniffs of goal. We're talking, <laughs> hello, that should be a goal. How'd you miss that? That was a poor finish, a decent save. But what was the finishing about? It's these sorts of, well, you can get away with it, I suppose, in games here against Omnia, home and away in the Europa League. And maybe in Everton for a team that, which is, let's be honest, like bang out for like, like, the bang average. You can't be doing that going into the games that we've got coming up. Newcastle are playing pretty decent at the moment. Do that against Newcastle. We're going to get punished easily. Then we've got Spurs at home. Then we've got Chelsea away. You can't do that. 
It was a game where Ronaldo was frustrated. It was a game where everybody was frustrated. It was a game where I was massively frustrated. And I'll tell you what, Ten Hag's got to take that game there and just you take any of the last three, take all of the last three fucking games and just show it to the attackers and say, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? How is it that your finishing is that bad? Now, Rashford, I think, was probably the, the worst of it tonight. So many chances he had. Or if he was just a bit more smart about it, a bit more cute, wrapped his foot around the ball a little bit more, and I suppose thought about it a little bit more, was smarter. We would have scored plenty, but I've said the same thing in the last three games. This is a problem, right? Because it's happened in the last three. It's not happened in one game. It's not even happening in games. It's happened back to back to back. The team is creating more chances because we're getting used to the style of football. We're getting used to the team that we're playing with and it's working. Absolutely. But the chance creation still isn't there. That comes down to the finishing. It comes down to the attackers. It's down to, I'll tell you one thing as well. Martinez, I wouldn't say he had an off game tonight. He made a couple of, I would say, uncharacteristic errors. Uh, given that he's been playing like proper like 7 out of 10 consistent level performances recently. But defensively, I think we were a little bit lucky not to be more punished by Omania, who should have taken more advantage of the opportunities that I think they had. But they were far and few between compared to the absolute barrage of shots that we had on their goal. And I don't know which one was the worst. I... As I said, big up to Ten Hag. For throwing on Sancho and McTominay. The last sub that he made was McTominay. It was McTominay who came up with the winner. Ten Hag has done this more than once this season so far. Subs that have came on and had an impact and changed the result of the game. And tonight we needed that. It was... It, uh, one nil against Omanir is not going to be uh, ripping up any trees. It's not going to be the transformation of our season. But it could have been... Had that stayed as it was, we were going to have another two games guaranteed to be added to our fixture list. Play like we did tonight, away at Real Sociedad. We will have an extra two games added to our fixture list because we will finish second in the group and we will have to play somebody who drops down from the Champions League in a knockout tie in February. But the only thing we've got to change is our finishing. Everything else there tonight... Okay, not everything else. A lot of what we saw there tonight was good. Good build-up play. We were switching it well. I thought we were missing Ericsson in the first half. Uh, with Fred and Casemiro on, there wasn't enough vertical passing. We were passing to Anthony and, San uh, and Rashford out wide, who weren't taking their man on. Anthony needs to improve that, definitely. Rashford, uh, it's a confidence thing with Rashford. We know he can do it, but he seems to be cutting inside a lot. But it made us a lot narrower, and uh, Omanir were able to stay compact, and we couldn't really get around it. When we spread ourselves a little bit more in the second half, we, had, we created more opportunities. But shit, we had 15 shots in the first half. We had nearly 20 shots in the second half. United, don't do it to yourselves. Don't do it to us. What happened to routine wins? They're kind of routine wins by performances overall because we've had so many shots and so much possession. It's not like Van Hal possession where you had 75% of the ball and you had like three shots. <laughs> One more time here, people. 34 shots. And it took until the 95th minute for our backup defensive midfielder to come on and score the winner. It's just not what should be happening. Rashford, look at yourself, man. Five goals in eight. But that sort of finishing there, it's not doesn't belong at the top level. It does not. And we were lucky to get away with it in the same way that... I thought he played, what is it, Casimir, I think his name was? I actually thought he played quite well, apart from that absolute horror tackle, which, how that's not a... I don't know how it's not a red card. It, it's a joke. It's genuinely a joke. Fair play. Is it on, 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 on Ezu? What was his name? I can't remember his name. Let's try and find his name for him, because I think I should name him. I think he played really well. In his, uh, fair play to him. He deserves to be named. Uh... Yuzoho, fair play to you, man. You nailed it. Enjoy it. But thanks very much for letting that one in at the end there, because I tell you what, we needed that. My man of the match. Oh, geez, who would be your man of the match in that game? I'm struggling. I'm really, really struggling. You can let me know in the comments below. No one really stands out in that game for me. But in the first half, you could talk about actually no no one Casemiro was pretty good in that game I thought that was a game that added minutes into his legs and therefore he'll become a better player because of it but how and why we had to wait until that for a goal is in, is ridiculous it has to be addressed in the training ground it has to be addressed on the pitch every attacker has to improve the chance creation is there the teamwork is there finishing buck up your ideas guys because if you do that against Spurs and Chelsea we're losing we won tonight which is great 